we got a march to the sea. Bye, have fun, be home in time for supper. against the Confederates in Tennessee. My spies have, been, have gotten word that Hood plans to attack Nashville. 
General McPherson. You are going to be marching with me, but first make sure the city of Atlanta is burned to the ground by tomorrow morning. And so, Atlanta was burned, and on November 15, 1863, Sherman and 62,000 Union troops began their march to the sea. Oh, please don't take my things and destroy my property. Look, sweetheart. Sorry to do this to you, but my army needs these supplies. After all, war is heck. Oh, you don't need Sherman's army, on its march, march south, was divided into two wings. Not this served to confuse the Confederates as to the position of the army. They looted and plundered southern farms and homes. They enraged the local population. They destroyed railways. I did that. They ransacked farms. And they destroyed lots of property. <laughs> All right, man, let's go attack Sherman's troops. Clip, 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 Throughout the clip, march, clip, clip. there was minimal clip, clip, resistance. Clip, clip, clip. This was because of the fighting between the Union's 9th Pennsylvania Cavalry, along with detachments of other units, against Southern militiamen and scattered cavalry. The confrontation went something like this. Attack! However, the Confederate troops were wiped out during the counterattack. Wait, what? Sorry, pal. History is history. Fine, whatever. The Union took over 600 prisoners that day, along with giving the rebels over 500 casualties. 
I just came at the cost of only 62 Union wounded soldiers. As a result of this battle, the Confederates were too afraid of Sherman's army to seriously attack them again. Sherman's army occupied Savannah on December 21st, 1864. He sent this telegram to President Abraham Lincoln to tell him the news. Hey, Sam, <coughs> I mean, Abe, this is what I got you with the Christmas present. Better not be something stupid like last Christmas. Not even close. Not only did I only get you the city of Savannah, but I also got you 25,000 bales of cotton, because why not add insult to injury? Ah, oh, thanks man, that really means a lot, you know that? With the conquest of Savannah under his belt, Sherman, in January of 1865, turned north waging total war on both South and North Carolina until the war's end in April. William Tecumseh Sherman is, even today, admired as a hero, a brilliant tactician in the North, and despised as a monster in the South.